So welcome to wikidiki.com uh, and here is on uh, the ethical hacking area I am going to talk. Uh, I will show you how to hack keyboards uh, to impress your girlfriend in 2 minutes of time. It's a mix up of hands on practicals with the 3D animations. My name is Venkut, I am a Microsoft most valuable professional and you can see my profile in microsoft.com website. So Windows operating system has a dominant uh, scripting environment called uh, Windows scripting host with the support of JScript and VBScript. So there are a lot of other things, uh, other softwares which can be taking care of uh, doing this or controlling this Windows scripting host, uh, but these two cannot be like it. We needs it doesn't need any installation. So the script files can be saved as a .vbs or .js file extension. And it will invoke the process of C script or W script exe. So, this C script exe will give the output data to console and it can be taken out using W script.echo. Whereas the process W script.exe will produce the output as message dialogs. If we talk about the benefits of uh, Windows scripting host, the compilation is not required. So it's an app solution for trivial daily tasks with the small functionalities. It can be written using a simple text editor like Notepad, and this is independent of 32-bit or 64-bit 64 operating system. The scripts can be executed in both operating system and apart from this it can like uh, it can control or can be written in notepad and can be runs the notepad.exe and brings the notepad to the front. The second parameter 9 means to active and display the window. If the window is minimized or maximized the system restores to original stage and here is the program. So this one indicates uh, the comment and information passed to you and here is the remaining set of programs which is executing our hacking commands. You are able to see double script dot shell is one of an important library which will take care of invoking the notepad and to do some processing. I am trying to create an object for this particular library and store it as a variable here. And uh, this variable is invoking the notepad. You are able to see the notepad is invoked. 9 indicates uh, open it and activate the notepad. Wscript.sleep 500 indicates uh, the time to load this notepad. And afterwards, I am trying to give a message, wiki -taki hacky hacking step by step. This is the message, which I am trying to type it in the notepad. Now here is the actual program, for i is equal to 1 to length of message. Until that, it will take 200 millisecond time to type each letter. So WHS send keys mid of message this is a message i 0 comma 1 the first letter w will be printed once again i become 2 this will be printed the next one will be printed this is how the program is executed let me show you a practical thing so that you will understand a lot so here is the program so i will remove the comment so that you will understand it should not be messy for you so I created an object for double script and run the notepad exe and 9 is the number 1 to activate it. Wait for 500 milliseconds to open the notepad and afterwards this is the message and continuously type this message. I am double clicking it. This is how So I didn't type anything, it's typing everything. 
some of this t is missing out let me run it once again it's asking me to save it i don't want to save it let me type it once again so if you want to change the text you can change it let me make it out as hi hi friend how are you now let me close it and open it hi friend how are you this is how we are able to hack the keyboard to activate the command or message which i typed it to make them to type it this is the entry piece of code so this is the command which we have written and you should be stored it as a vbs file vb script file now let me give the explanation once again open a notepad and enter the code so you are trying to trying to create an object for the w script dot shell so it's a com automation process and set it or save it as wss shell and afterwards use this wss shell to run the notepad and 9 is to activate it 9 means that the process is activated and displays even if it is minimized or maximized stage and afterwards we are trying to make it sleep for 500 milliseconds and here is the message typed and here is the for loop executed from 1 to the length of the message the loop will be processing wait for 200 milliseconds to execute sending the keys with the information of a what should be typed here is the one and the next will be making the loop continuing submit indicates this is a command string variable that's this is the string variable and the start and length length is one so each time one character should be printed and here is the output you are able to see the computer is automatically typing the message once you double click it that's it thanks for watching our wiki techie videos and if you are looking for more videos you can uh, send a whatsapp message to this number or you can send an email and you can subscribe to our youtube channel to get more questions or uh, to see our videos and if you have any questions or any doubts you can post your queries in our youtube video so that our expert team will answer it and here is our website and facebook url thank you